What is up guys, it's Devin, and today we are back with a, another video. What is your problem, Ethan? We got Ethan in the garage currently trying to make fun of my intro, but you know, we're gonna make fun of him later. But in today's video, we are gonna be upgrading the inflatable raft into a bass boat. We got some plywood over there that we're gonna cut out. This is the floorboard that we're gonna trace. And uh, we got some PVC pipe for some rod holders and a bunch of other stuff that is to come for the bass boat, but um, we're gonna get to it. Okay guys, we just finished cutting the plywood to actually fit into the raft. We are now gonna go ahead and sand it down because these edges are really rough from our cuts. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and probably time lapse the sanding because it is gonna take a minute, I think. We're gonna try and use an angle grinder because I don't actually have a sander, but we're gonna see how it works out with the flap disc on the angle grinder and hopefully to round these off a little bit more than they actually are. And uh, then we're gonna split the thing in half so it will actually fit in my car and then hinge it so we can fold it up and test it out. But we're gonna go ahead and get to sanding. Sanding, here we go. We have just finished sanding, guys. Um, it is a lot rounder than it was now. I don't know if you guys can really tell from that, but it's a lot rounder and not so hard cut corners. It is actually pretty smooth. Besides on the edges a little bit, it does get a little bit rough there, but I think we'll be all right because I did buy some piping insulation to actually wrap around the whole edge of it. But I also do, with the piping insulation, I do want to wrap this piece of plywood in like boating carpet to make it like an actual bass boat. I haven't actually got the boating carpet yet so that is going to be a later add-on but we're going to go ahead and try and sorry the wind we're going to go ahead and try and hinge this thing and cut it in half to where it will actually fit in my car and i'm sorry again if the wind is really loud right now it is super windy today but um we're gonna go ahead and try and test fit it first before we do cut it in half just to make sure we don't have to make any other cuts so uh we're gonna test fit it and i'll probably come back and show you guys all right guys so after a little bit of test fitting we realized that we need to go ahead and make this hole wider for the floor mat and then realize the side tube uh, we needed to cut because it was resting right on top of this and I didn't want to pull that valve out by accident or cause it to tear and pop a hole. So we're gonna go ahead and cut those holes and then go ahead and put my pipe insulation around the edge and then test it again. And then we should be to the hinging part to where it will fit in my car. But we're gonna go ahead and get the cutting as, as you can see, Jake, Jake just jumped right to it. We have just finished the hinges on the platform. If you guys want to take a look, went ahead and added two support beams here, cut out that other hole like I was talking about before, uh, sanded this one a little bit lar longer down like we had discussed, and then we got the hinges here. If you want to see how it folds up, I'm gonna go ahead, grab it here. It folds right on over, and bam, and I think it should fit pretty well in my car, so we pretty much Got this thing all figured out. I do still need to put the pipe insulating on the sides. And like I said, I do want to get boating carpet and put it on it actually to make it a little bit better than just plywood so we can stand on it without shoes maybe if we want to take our shoes off while we're out fishing. But um, we're gonna go ahead and finish up there for today and we'll be back probably tomorrow. So it is now the next day guys. We actually, me and Jake just got back from the store picking up more supplies for what we are going to do today. Um, so here is what we picked up. So we got a 12 by three foot section of outdoor carpet that actually took forever to get. Sorry Lowe's, but uh, your machines don't work on how to cut carpet and uh, we wasted a lot of our time. But anyways, we then picked up a nice little $5 lawn chair instead of currently picking up boat seats and trying to mount that stuff because that is a little bit pricey. And I do want it to fit in my car and I couldn't really devise a way off the top of my head right now to go ahead and do that. So we're gonna try out the lawn chairs for now and if I don't think that is a good solution, we're gonna go ahead and get those boat seats mounted up and figure out a solution for that. And then the next purchase we got, we went ahead and bought a little cooler here, a igloo cooler. What we're gonna do with this thing, we're gonna take uh, some PVC that I bought that's back there in the corner. We're gonna mount it to the side of this cooler with some Gorilla Glue adhesive stuff that we bought with a caulker. We're gonna mount them to the side of this and make them into rod holders on the side. And we're gonna have a nice little cooler for the middle of our boat. And then I also ended up buying an anchor right here because whenever I did go out with the paddles a few times with Nate and myself, 
the wind blew us around. So we're gonna go ahead, we got this little anchor and we're gonna rig this up and keep this in the boat all the time so that we aren't getting pushed around so much anymore in the wind. And hopefully with the plywood and other weight that we have added to the boat, it's gonna make it a lot better. But we're gonna go ahead and get started stapling this carpet to the plywood. I do need to pull it out of the garage. As you guys see, the plywood piece isn't out yet, but we're gonna get to stapling that with Jake. All right, guys, we're back with a little bit of an update. I have gone ahead and finished the front side of the carpeting. It is looking pretty stylish. Sorry if you can't see that well. We are under a pop-up now because it's hot as hell here in Missouri right now, but you know, it's like 95 degrees, but uh, we have finished the front side of this. We are currently waiting for the back half of the carpet to the had a roll in it, like a seam right here. So we're putting some two by fours that we're using for the cooler holder that we're gonna slowly work on to flatten it out while we're doing that. We're designing that up and getting our cooler ready for our rod holders. So um, I'll catch you guys up probably after we finish the carpet on this side and the cooler holder. So guys, we have gone ahead and finished up all of the carpeting. I'm gonna show you guys now. So the carpet is in, it's in the boat right now. The carpeting is all done. It fits pretty nicely in here. I don't know that I'm gonna actually use these pipe insulation tubing like I was planning to, to put around the edge, because I think the carpeting give it, gives it enough padding to where we don't actually need that anymore. But uh, here is the cooler for right now. We're currently waiting for this to cure overnight. We kind of put adhesive glue on it, but our little setup for our cooler, we got some weight on top gluing the cooler to our two by fours, but this is, so it kind of sits up high and it's gonna rest over the centerpiece right here. But we got one rod holder, two rod holder, and then two more on the back. And if I wanna add more, we can always glue them here on the side or something to get like six. But um, other than that, we gotta wait 24 hours for that stuff to cure before we can actually test that out. And then I think me and Jake are gonna take it out on a lake and try it all out with, before I actually get the trolling motor to finish the whole upgrade. But I think it's gonna be really sick. The carpet is a really nice add-in and the plywood is super cool because it adds a lot more stability. But other than that, we will see you guys once the cooler is done curing and we'll see you on the water. All right guys, so we have just arrived at the lake with Jake and Jacob. We got our cooler all done with a rod in it to test it out. We got our lawn chairs and we're gonna drag it on down to the lake and test it out here shortly after Jake finished messing with the anchor to tie it up. But uh, we're gonna get after it. All right guys, we're all rigged up on the GoPro mount now before we get it in the water. But uh, we're still messing with the anchor right now. Just trying to figure out how to leave it on the side. Looks That looks pretty good. Yeah, bada bing bada boom. Hey, got it. But yeah. th you think we're gonna carry that with your fat ass in there? <laughs> <laughs> One can hope. <laughs> we got both paddles. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Run them over. No. <laughs> I, was, I was like, what's the plan here? Are you getting wet or? Because <laughs> you like stopped and I was like, I don't know what the plan okay. is here. So you guys get in, then I pull and then we're off. Deal. We'll probably go a little bit farther than this. Yeah. I'll hold back. Realistically, it's probably two-person. I mean, you could go. All right. We can get all three of us in here. What do you mean? I mean, I can sit up front. It's fine. No, it's fine. I can sit on the cooler. In there. All right, we're going on an adventure, Jacob. You ready? And I'll, I'll get in. And Jacob, you can sit up in the chair there for a second. Okay. <laughs> All right, push off, Jake. <laughs> oh, last chance, huh? I did it. I uh, The treble hook came undone and almost got me. All right, where do we want to go? Dude, this is pretty lit. This is, this is <laughs> Yeah, set, set up that chair so you can scoot up and you're not sitting on top of my lap right here. Hey, oh, this thing is shaky. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a lot sturdier than it was, though. Here, hold this. <laughs> <laughs> he said, hold this, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> Here you go. All right, you probably wanna scoot your chair to the left side. Cause you're sinking that way. Just be centered, cause I'm not sinking, you know what I'm saying? If you center it up. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, there you go, it's a lot more stable now. There we go. Yeah, this would've been hard, this would be hard with three people, but. Ah! I was adjusting my chair. Oh. <laughs> Yo, this is lit with lawn chairs though. This is great. <laughs> Dude, I love this. And just imagine when I get my trolling motor. You going up the beach? Yeah. I mean, we're cruising though. 
Howdy, partner. What? Yeah. Like, you should try to go out to the Tadways, see how your anchor setup works. Oh, yeah. Ow, hey. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, let's go center it up. All right, we anchoring. Here we go. Here we go, boys. We got the anchor. I got to open it up before we drop this sucker. How do you got this tied up first? Oh, man. So I got to loosen it. Oh, there we go. I see what you're saying. All right. I'm going straight for the trees right now. <laughs> Trying to get the anchor down, but we're drifting. What's up? <laughs> All right, we're going to have to paddle before I drop this thing. All right, here we go. Um, anchor opening. Oh, we're spinning. Hey, my anchor is stuck. What is it doing? Oh my god. Here we go. The captain really sucks. Hey. Yep. <laughs> Alright. We're dropping her. Here we go. Kerplunk. Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, time to fish. Here we go. Alright, I'm going to attempt to stand up. Oh, yeah. Nice and sturdy. If I take off your head, I'm sorry. Woo -hoo. Dude, this, this is nice. After you get used to like the unbalanced bit of it, it's it's gonna be lit. But overall, having a good time here. Anchor, well worth purchase. We haven't really moved. Mm. All right, now, now the goal is to try and catch something, right? Dude, look at this giant monster. Huh? <laughs> well, guys, overall, first impressions of the upgraded raft. I would say 10 out of 10. We definitely need, all right, I definitely need to go ahead and get myself a towing motor. I have been trying for the last week to find one, but I have yet to find one at a store that is relatively cheap and not overkill for what we're doing with this. But um, we're gonna go ahead, deflate the raft, and get it all packed up, and uh, probably get a towing motor, and I'll finish up this video for you guys. All right, guys, so like I said in the previous clip, um, I do wanna get a trolling motor for my boat, but um, currently, as I was saying, Every store is basically sold out of them for the one that I want. I want a 30 pound thrust with a 30 inch shaft one and they're pretty much all sold out or they're discontinuing them. I think Minn Kota is currently in the process of actually changing over their trolling motors is what I was told by somebody at Bass Pro. But um, so we're gonna eventually get a trolling motor for this thing and completely rig it out to be a basically a bass boat, f affordable bass boat, like I said. Um, but anyways, guys, if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to smash that like button for me. It really does mean a lot to me. And subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and enjoy my content because we're trying to upload a lot more and I like to see you guys supporting me. So um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.